I'm at the cusp of a bit dilemma. Okay. Was wondering if I can get your advice on it. Of course you can. You are friend. Come That's on, Sid. Here. Let's go, Sid. Talk to us. That's what we're here for. The cusp of a of a bit or bit big dilemma. Big dilemma? Bit. Bit. B-I-T. Big dilemma? A small dilemma. Small dilemma. On the cusp of a small dilemma. All right, let's go. We're ready. Listen, big dilemma, small dilemma, we're here. Let's go. Okay, it's a big dilemma, not a bit yeah. dilemma. All right. So, okay. so this situation is, um, I feel like I have found my calling after much soul searching, reading, researching my calling, okay. uh, living okay. my most authentic life and keeping and keep creating stuff, part one. Okay, so we got to wait for part two. You got, it's got a continuation. Oh, wow. All right, it's a big deal. I like it. I like the multi-part. Let's go. Okay, Sid feel like felt feels like he found his calling, but we didn't get the butt, right? He's been reading. Right. He feels like he found his calling, but there's a butt. So what's the butt? Parents don't support me. Don't know if I'm good enough. Don't have the resources. I want to move to Canada. I move to America. Can't I'll happen. Sure. Can't happen <laughs> unless I move to America. Things that passionate me the most are film and make music. Okay. Okay. I have learned the fundamentals of these two subjects and want to immerse myself into it by studying the masters of the field and creating. Um, but how do I, one, how do I approach my life looking forward in a way that it serves both passions without compromising either or either? And then number two, I have about four years left to complete my education till I'm on my own. What should I? I do. You should start looking at how do you shift your education to learn about music and film so that you're not spending four years hating your life. How can you take courses or get a degree that's actually going to serve you for when you are finished? And then instead of just looking at working on one is the expense of the other like how much how, how how many songs have you written how many films have you gone out and started to make how many youtube videos have you done like you've got time explore create do it you're so worried about if i spend time on one that i won't spend time on the other and it's going to be you know a problem all that time overthinking and over planning and strategizing and worrying that you're missing out on the other thing could just be time spent doing right that's what you need to do right now is just do do create do both and and start taking courses we're actually going to learn and that path will lead you to the place that you're proud of and will help you in more concrete terms figure out how to execute your calling and i i've got i want to add something to that real quick i love this okay um I want to say it's a Zenism, but it's not. It's from Built to Serve. So it says, don't know the answer to something, model success. That's page 139 in Built to Serve. That would be a good Zenism. <laughs> well, I like it. Context. I'm already studying film, TV, and media on a college level. We'll graduate next year. So as far as the courses part, I'm already... He's already got that covered. I thought you said. I thought he said he had four more years or something. Four years, yeah. Right. You said he had four years to complete your um, your education. Sid says the thing that makes me most anxious is when I'm pursuing two fields at once. It takes away from the time I can solely dedicate to one field, and improvement in that one field is slower. Part one. Part two is even though I'm improving in two fields simultaneously, the improvement in one field is slower than someone who is dedicating themselves completely to one field. But I, I, what's the four year thing? I want to know the four year thing. Yeah, what's, yeah. So Sid says four year remaining equals one year left to graduate degree. One year I'm planning to take a gap year to explore and two years for post-grad educational path in my country. He says the main dilemma though is that music comes more naturally to me compared to film. I have more to learn the film, but film and media is more that viable since my network is better than my net network is in his, his network, I guess, is, in film is better than his network. 
Sid, what's it going to happen? It. What's going to happen? What's ultimately going to happen for you is in the combination. You're never. You're not going to end up just doing one. It's in the mix that you're going to win. Well, and they, and they both go together. That's how you're going to win. And, and that in my country, a film career takes much more time to take off than a music career. Sid says, focusing more on doing than thinking is something that I would definitely keep in mind and remind myself. Yeah, every time you're worried about, because honestly, the combina it's going to be the combination where you win. It's going to be the combination where you win. It won't be just one. All if you're If you end up doing a lot of movie stuff, all of the things that you did in music will be the thing that will save you. That's going to be how you stand out. That's that's going to be what makes you unique. So Sid says, um, mm, okay, uh, so I would type a rough idea of how to dedicate the next four years. Please let me know if it seems right and I'm missing something. Um, year one, I think in the next year I should hone my music production skills and meanwhile study all the great films and their writing. He says, year two, I should post music on social media uh, with making music. Okay, okay, pause. You can't plan for year two. You're, you're, you're already thinking too far ahead. Your year two plan is gonna change three weeks in. This is it, you're overthinking it already. Stop overthinking it, go. What's your year one plan? Great, start executing that. That's all you have to worry about. And then as you go in and do that, you may find that your entire plan changes. Awesome. That's it. Stop. Stop now and start executing. Every yeah. Everything else you're doing now in terms of planning for year two, three, four, 82 is a waste of time. Like you're losing time. You're losing momentum as we speak. Just start working on year one and recognize it's actually only your plan for the next two weeks. So start with the music. You finally got through the Sid. He says, wow, that single line knocks so much sense to me more than anything. He says, you're right, Evan. I focus too much on the future years instead of near future. Yeah, all you have is right now. Well, there you go, man. Do it. Do it. All start you making. You could right be now. making a song tonight. The past is gone. The future is yet. All you have is right now. So you're supposed to seize the moment. All you have is right now.